Hey everybody, this is Eric again. Uh, just give you a quick update. Um, I was uh, doing some work on a friend's Phantom 3. Uh, this was the uh, advanced model, not the professional. And uh, he flew it for a few times, didn't have it maybe more than a week or so, and he had something that told him that he was needed to do an update. It was forcing him to do an update. The, the copter wouldn't take off. He's got an iPhone, and uh, I believe it's a 6, and uh, he updated the copter, or at least attempted to, but the uh, remote control would not update. It just froze. It was He was kind of trying to do it through the phone, the app on the phone, and it froze. So we did. I came out, did some research on it, and uh, kind of followed the YouTube videos trying to do an update with the uh, copter. That didn't work. We tried doing it onto an SD card and putting it into the, directly into the remote. That didn't work. We tried. I took it home then at that point and tried to work on it. Um, we tried the SD card thing several times, different SD cards, went and tried it through the copter, tried it directly. Nothing worked. Uh, tried a thumb drive directly with a thumb drive. Uh, that did not work. Uh, there's some confusion as to what you know you, you need to do to update. That's a different version for the copter than it is to the uh, remote, and that's something you'll have to research. And also, um, they talk about you know once you've successfully updated the copter, there's an extra file on that you can't take it directly the SD card and then try to upload it to the uh, remote and. It just won't work. There's an extra file there. The remote doesn't understand it, won't read it. Um, so I, I messed with it quite a few times, spent about half a day. And what I finally found out out of desperation was um, I took my wife's phone. She's got a Samsung Galaxy. Can't remember what model, but uh, Android based, I guess. And uh, downloaded the Go DGI Go app on that hooked it up to the uh, remote, uh, fired it up, and went through the download process again using my wife's phone, and it worked. The remote was then updated, it would communicate with the dro uh, drone, everything was fine, and you could actually go back again and use the I Mac products, the iPhone, or the, I you know, the tablet, um, and it worked perfect. So I guess what I'm saying is if you guys are struggling out there, um, it'd save you a lot of headache. If you can get a hold of a friend's Android-based device, do the update with that. There seems to be some type of bug with uh, Mac products right now. I don't know if DJI will be working on that or what will happen, but I, I was at, a, at my wit's end. I, there, was, there was nothing left to do, and that worked instantly. So, you know, you can try doing SD, different SD cards, thumb drives, this, that, and the other. It's like not, the, the remote did not recognize any of it, but when it was forced to do the download with an Android device, it worked. So if you guys are desperate, you know, I, we were to the point we were probably thinking we might have to send it in and have it updated or have it looked at. So it's, uh, it's worth a try. I hope you guys have good luck with it. Thanks.